Hello everyone, welcome to my kitchen. I'm always looking for new finger food or appetizer ideas. And today is goody day at school. We're celebrating the end of our state testing. So we're gonna have treats in our lounge for all the teachers. And I am making jalapeno popper roll. So this is how we do it. This is all new to me, so we're gonna make this together. We're gonna unroll two packages of crescent dough and press the seams together. Then we're gonna shred eight ounces of pepper jack cheese. Once you get all of that eight ounces shredded, you're gonna add it to a bowl and add one eight ounce block of softened cream cheese and four ounces of chopped jalapeno peppers. One quarter teaspoon of salt. You're gonna mix that together. I could have mixed it in my mixer, in the KitchenAid stand mixer. I just didn't want another dish to clean. So I just managed to mix it in a bowl with a spatula. Then you're gonna divide that between the two unrolled crescent dough packages and then you're just gonna spread it out on top. This was something you have never made before, like I said, and it seems like we always end up bringing the same foods every time we have a day at school that uh, we bring goodies and treats. So this is something I wanted to try, and everybody likes jalapeno poppers. So, and these aren't very spicy. I use the mild, jala mild jalapenos and it's, I think they're gonna be perfect. So once I get this cheese all spread out, we're gonna roll these up, just kind of like a cinnamon roll. I did it on parchment paper just so it would be less mess on the counter because I am ready to not be working in the kitchen tonight. And I didn't want an extra mess. So you could do it on the counter, maybe flour the surface a little bit, but the parchment paper worked just fine and saved me just a little bit of a mess to clean up. So once you get them all rolled out, you're just gonna start slicing them into about inch pieces holding the log steady as you slice with your serr serrated knife. And you could get eight to 10 out of this roll. Then you're gonna melt one tablespoon of butter. And once you get that melted in the microwave, you're gonna add about a half teaspoon, maybe a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. Stir that till it dissolves. You're just going to brush that on top of all those little rolls. And I'll say you could press, you could put these in a casserole dish and ha have them put side by side touching, but I wanted them on the cookie sheet so that the edges would all be crispy. So I'll put a little bit of space between each roll. Brush your butter on top and bake them in a 375 degree oven for 30 minutes. Your house will smell amazing. So here they're almost done. I wanted them just a little bit crispier. So I left them in for just a couple more minutes and here they are.